so I want you to do a little exploration, um, and the directions are on the sheet, <clears throat> but I don't want you to have to graph all this stuff by hand. Uh, it's a little bit work. So I want to show you how to graph parametric equations on, um, on Desmos. And what you do is you enter them as a point. Instead of writing x equals y equals, I could just say something like uh, 3 cos t, comma, uh, 5 sine t. And notice that it's only running from 0 to 1. So let's expand that. Let's make it go to 2 pi. And that hopefully makes what you would expect. Center at 0, 0, offset of 3, offset of 5. All right. So what I want you to start to do is to mess around with these a little bit um, and start to mess around with the periods and start to categorize and start to make some shapes uh, out of this and be able to make some predictions about what the equations would be or what the shapes would be from the equations. One of the things that we've talked about in here is ideas like um, as x, right, this would be x equals 3 cosine t and uh, y equals 5 sine t. So cosine, I know, starts at an extreme and goes back and forth. So x would do this as, um, as t runs from 0 to 2 pi. Sine starts at 0 and runs to extremes. So sine would do this. So while sine is doing this one cycle, uh, cosine is doing this one cycle in this direction. Right? And together they make that shape. So let's double one of these. Let's, let's mess with this just a little bit. So let's make this happen um, twice as fast. Wow, notice what happens is it starts to kind of get twisted up. And in this sine direction, in the y direction, it's completing two full cycles. And the amount of time that going around takes one full cycle. This is what I want you to investigate and dig into, this sort of idea. And again, knowing how to graph these in Desmos is, uh, is pretty important. All right, enjoy. This is a fun investigation.